Hey what's going on guys, Kevin here. in this video we're gonna be handling in peasant capture. So, uh, before we start, I would actually like to alter this uh, tricky position slightly a bit to make use of the in peasant captures uh, being available on the board within the board, board position. So, I just want to run this for us, so let's try to... <coughs> um, make debug and if it makes I want to run the BBC binary executable okay perfect so now the only difference is I just want to put this uh, C7 point upon to C5 and make the C6 square to be the in peasant square so let's make this C6 uh, in peasant square and uh, just want to get rid of this pawn and try to put this right over in here so it would be two and pawn so let's make sure that it's the proper place okay so uh we have uh i'm sorry so yeah now, now we do capture here on c6 but the problem is that this pawn on c5 doesn't disappear at the moment so our goal now is actually to make this pawn getting disappearing get, uh, yeah getting get getting disappeared that's that's our goal for this video so let's go to make move function uh, definition and try to uh, handle the in peasant captures along with other cases so here I just want to say like handle in peasant captures and I can simply say if in peasant uh, is equals to, equ equals to true, uh, in peasant stores this uh, get moving peasant flag. So if it is not, if, if it's a non-zero flag, that means that we're within the in peasant move territory. And now, depending on site, uh, we we need to erase the pawn. So let's say, like erase, erase the pawn. Uh, depending on side to move okay so we can simply say like if so I'm using the ternary operator here so side equals to white and in this case we want to pop bit and um, bit boards so in case of whites, if white to move, we want to uh, pop uh, the black pawn uh, at the square, uh, target square, sorry, target, target square, and plus eight. So just mm, right, right above or right below the uh, in peasant capture. Uh, okay, and otherwise, otherwise. I just want to pop bit and bit boards indexed by the white pawn and target square minus eight respectively. So let's actually try to compile the run again and see what happens. So now it should erase this c5 pawn. Okay, perfect. And this c5 pawn uh, is getting erased, which means that it has been captured so the black pawn bit boards uh, uh, got rid of this c5 pawn after in peasant ca capture and when when we drop the move back obviously it appears again so this is kind of it and now i just also want to test this for black side uh, to move so uh, well i can actually leave this position just like as is the only difference the only difference would be so I just want this eight erase the a2 pawn put it to a4 and make a3 uh an in peasant square so a3 in peasant square uh getting rid of this pawn and here uh like this is this gonna work let's have a look okay so yeah now we now it should be capturing to a3 so let's let's see how this is gonna be working okay so capturing the knight uh, okay, and capturing the pawn and this this pawn on a4 has just disappeared and then drops back 
perfect so this is it basically this is it guys so uh yeah this is it for this video i hope you've learned something interesting out of watching or following uh or following it or <laughs> following this video and uh the next part would be to deal with double pawn pushes but before that uh i just want to add one more little thing here uh, which is incredibly important uh, just uh, uh, just before I forgot that completely so mm, uh, there is one more incredibly important part here so here uh, after uh, we've handled this in peasant square an absolutely obvious step to consider is actually to uh, set the in peasant square to no square so uh, let's say reset in peasant square and this is done regardless of what kind of move flag we have because uh, we would we would only be setting up uh, this in peasant square in case of a double pawn push in all the other cases in the cases of whatever other moves we would, we would need to actually reset this in peasant square and the order of uh, putting this uh, of making these actions is incredibly important as well otherwise you just won't be able to pass the perp test properly so here we need simply to say in peasant which is the global variable to store the uh, in peasant square on the chessboard uh, should be equal to no square and now before 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 i run this let me just show you one little trick here so you see like uh so now we have the in peasant square equals to a3 but when we capture sorry when we capture it still remains a3 and whatever move we do it still remains a3 which is not really that great so uh, what we need to do here we need to reset the in peasant square every time we're making a move so we made a move in peasant square has been uh, ha just uh, get, getting resetted here and make a move and that's it you see like every time we make a move the in peasant square is kind of disappearing and only in case if we would have been making a double pawn push in this case we would have this in peasant square being said but this is already the topic of the next video now this is really it from my side guys thanks for watching uh hope to see you in the next part until then and take care